Hey y'all, so I come back with an updated video for the washcloths for the Dollar Tree 11 by 11 washcloths. Um, if you watched the other video, I think I think I was doing those at 12. That's a little bit too much. It's too big of an overlap for the all over print, so I reduced it to 11.5. I did I tried 11.25, but it was it was. I needed a little bit more so um, I sized the images if you got the images from me then I've sized them to 11.5 the newer images so if you got an old image then you'll want to use this and size it down to 11.5 so let's um, let me when you download um, GIMP because it's free you can um, use it to do your printing if you print from Cricut or Silhouette since they only allow you a certain size for printing you know you don't get the full size in printing you could do that for these if you want to do all over print then you can use this if your printer is capable of printing at least 8.5 by 11 if you can only I mean not 11 8.5 by 14 if you can only do 8.5 by 11 then you can print from Cricut if you want to if you want to but if you if you can print well since it's I think it was print print and cut is like 6.75 by 9.25 well I would still come in here and use this because you can get that that you know that little bit of extra because you can you can print eight at least 8.25 by 10.75 in here if your printer but if your printer can do um, borderless printing then you can print um, 8.5 by 11 in here etc 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 if you have larger capabilities then you won't even need this if you can print larger than 8.5 by 14 you won't even need this you can do as you please so let's get into it if you can print 8.5 by 11 you can follow this to the t if you i mean 8.5 by 14 you can follow this to the t if you can only print 8.5 by 11 you can do this but you will have to adjust the sizes to fit your printer okay so you want to when you download everything it's just like any other program you click file and you can open an image you want to work with so I'm just gonna do a mock image so let's see keep okay so I'm going to work with this image here. It's a mock image. Well, it's an image I'm going to use for my desktop. I made my um, website, but I'm going to use it to show you how to um, change your sizing in here. Let's go into file and let's look for page setup. And let's see that it did come in at um, 11.5. Well, I don't need page setup. I need to, um, let's see. Preferences. Bear with me because I'm just learning this tool myself. Okay, so we're going to go to the image and then we're going to go to canvas size. And then if it's on pixels, then you just click the drop down and click inches. And it lets me know that the canvas size is 11.5 by 11.5. So I have that right if you needed to change it then you change it so if you got one of the images that's 12 then you'll want to first you'll want to image and you will want to scale the image and change it from pixels to inches and then if it's on 12 then you want to put 11.5 on here just change it here from and then hit re or scale and then let it change it and then you will go change after you change the image size from from 12 to 11.5 then you will need to go in and change your canvas size as well to 11.5 this is if you have one of the 12 inch images okay 
Now, once that is done, if you are if the, you have one at 11.5, you don't need to really do anything. All you need to do is come in and um, half the picture up, but I don't do exact halves. So this is the selector tool here or the rectangle select tool. And what I like to do is click out here in the gray and then drag it over more than half of the image and then edit copy and file new and on this new file you want to make this 8.25 by 13.75 because if you like I said if you can print at least eight and a half by 14 this is what you can do to get it get your image um, all over print so once you size that image hit OK and then hit edit paste go back to the main image remember where you were here click out here drag down drag over you can the um, selection is still where you were at go a little bit beyond that edit copy file new or you could put it on that same one but if you don't want to get confused then just make a new one and then again 8.25 by 13.75 hit ok and then hit edit and paste now go over here edit and you're going to want to You're going to want to um, go to image transform and you want to flip horizontally. Horizontally. And you want to do the other one as well. Image transform flip horizontally. That way, when you print, it will be all set. You hit file, print, and let it print out. Now, you can follow the other video to where I show you how to piece it together and um, put it on the cloth to press. That is it guys. I hope this helps.